In this video, I'm walking you through how to do static back handcuffed butterfly. So shout out to my client, David, um, who named this exercise when I gave it to him the other day because I didn't have a name for it. So he called it handcuffed, handcuffed butterfly and I think it's a great one. You're going to need a static back setup. So watch my video on static back if you don't know what static back means. It's important to have your legs high enough so that your body can fully switch off through the legs and through the hips. So do watch my video on that. I'm having to shove my cat out of the way. Psh, out you go. She likes to get in the way as I do my videos and I can't shut her out. So for handcuff butterfly, you're going to need your strap, your yoga strap. A resistance band won't offer you enough resistance, so don't use a resistance band. And I'm just going to show you the arm position that we're going to do first before I put my strap into place. So for this, you're going to put your hands in fists. That's helpful. I know she's kind of out the way, we're okay. You're going to put your hands in fists at a 90 degree angle at your elbow. So I'm not doing this, not doing this. The hands up towards the sky in a fist, nice and tight. And the elbows are really, really tucked into the side here. So you will notice as you do this exercise that your elbows want to creep away from your body because that's, for most people, an easier way to recruit some other muscles rather than recruiting the muscles that we want to use. So you've really got to try and keep the elbows tucked into the side, hands are active in fists towards the ceiling, 90 degree at the elbows, and you're also going to try and pull your shoulder blades back and down behind you as well. So pulling the shoulder blades back and down behind you is a different movement to puffing your ribs and flaring your ribs. So your whole spine should feel fully relaxed on the floor throughout this whole exercise. You are not tilting the rib cage up to create an arch in your mid to lower back here. We are keeping the spine down, but we're using the muscles of the shoulder blades to pull our shoulders back and down. So the whole of our spine is relaxed. We can feel that our shoulders are kind of far away from our ears. They're really like pulled back and down behind us and the hands stay in this uh, position. So what, <coughs> what we're going to do next is put a circle in our yoga strap and feed our hands through it like we're being handcuffed. And you're gonna look down at your um, hands and you're basically wanting to keep them a little bit more narrow than your elbows. So if, if the circle is too wide and your wrists can go out too wide, you're going to lose a little bit of the emphasis of the exercise. So if anything, have a slightly smaller loop than um, sort of shoulder width apart. And you're looking to keep your wrists really solid and straight. So there should be no bending and curving and rotating through the wrists. The sort of hand, wrist and elbow are all in a straight line and you stay rigid at the elbow. Arms are at 90 degrees, elbows tucked into the side, squeeze the shoulders back and down, and you're simply going to pull out against the strap and hold. So my stomach is relaxed, I'm not holding my breath, I'm breathing in and out of my belly, my legs are relaxed, my head is relaxed, my spine is relaxed, but my hands are rigid, I'm not allowing my wrists to bend, my elbows stay tucked in at the side of my torso, and I'm pulling my shoulder blades back and down behind me. And this is working a strange range of movement at the rotator cuff, which I think is often quite ignored. So I find this quite difficult, just because it's something that I don't do very often. And I can feel different muscles that don't often wake up kind of around the backs of my arms and the sides of my shoulder blades. I'm holding a continuous squeeze out here. So I would maybe advise holding this for a minute or two minutes or basically however long you want, as long as it doesn't cause you pain. But you can also do pulses. So you can squeeze out against your wrists and like squeeze, hold, release, squeeze, hold, release squeeze, hold, release. And as you do that, feel how your humerus, your upper arm bone, rotates against the floor and feel how the shoulder blades move back and down behind you. You might get a burning at the front of your shoulders because the fronts of the delts are going to get stretched off. And it's actually a surprisingly difficult exercise, I think, in my opinion, but you're, you might be better at this than me and you might find it easier. But it is important to note, this isn't really going to work if your shoulders are really rounded off the floor and curving away from the floor. You've got to keep the shoulders back and down behind you, elbows tucked in at the torso and the spine completely flat, we're not flaring the ribs, in order for this movement to work correctly at the shoulder. If your shoulders are super rounded off the floor, you're probably not working quite the right muscles. So this is static back, handcuffed butterfly.